Hey everybody, welcome back to System Shock. Last time we were on the R level. Making our way here from the science level, and uh, as we all know, R stands for... R stands for... Are you checking under the tables, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we found some cool stuff down here. Um, R stands for recuperate, or I guess probably reactor, or maybe engineering. Reactor makes more sense. We found, uh, yeah, this radiation... Uh, or anti-red bath type of thing, and then we found, uh, yeah, the healing thing. Oh my god, there's so many more. <laughs> People just leaving stuff on the floor out here. Um, yeah, so some good stuff for sure. We could still use an energy refill though, um, so I have to keep an eye out for that. For now, I'm just gonna keep on exploring a bit. I do like this song. Bit of, bit of a mixed bag. People, Some people like the soundtrack, some people don't. I would say uh, it's been more good than bad so far, probably. Um, what am I doing here? <laughs> Pushing the wrong buttons. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Rains. Hey, Vern. That rash I told you about is spreading, and I feel kind of sick. I'm going down to the hospital level to get checked. See you tomorrow. <laughs> That's not a phone call you want to hear from somebody. <laughs> Especially not a uh, romantic partner. <laughs> Hello there. No damage. Okay, now we gotta get a different gun. Hang on, we can do it this way, yeah. There you go. There's That's what the mag pulse does, I guess. It's like a plasma cannon kind of thing. That's cool. Um, kind of panicked there a little bit. <laughs> I assume that does a lot of damage if it actually blows up right on top of you, so. Uh, yeah, good that we got that. I think actually. This may be the room that I had skipped before, because I saw the robot and I was like, nah, let's not go that way. What does this do? Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't, didn't look at this before, so that's good. So we've got our respawn point down here now, and that's incredibly useful. Uh, however, I don't think I want to go that way. Let's check out what's going on over here, maybe... Drop a save real fast while we're at it. Ooh, no damage. Hang on. A little bit low on energy here. Ooh, where'd he go? Well, that'll give me a second to get the proper ammunition in the gun, I guess. Oh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, somebody mentioned, uh, the uh, the targeting system has actually given us those those hit and like no damage indicators, I think. Uh, which we didn't get initially, so that's that is useful for sure. I assume the the higher level ones would give us like the readout of the enemy that we're actually targeting. Um, so we can climb these, can't we? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that we may have missed. Um, because I didn't climb. Walls that look like that. Hello. I'll take that. Uh, and then we will listen to this. What do we got? Shark, it's Mark. Listen, we gotta reschedule for later. Uh, the core has been spitting out some serious radiation right now. It's been spiking for the past 36 hours, and we're talking about eight rims. Only cause I can come up with is that it's a software error. No one's been hurt yet, but listen, do me a favor. Run that diagnostic on the CPUs for me. Thanks. I owe you. Uh huh. Yeah, I guess it would make sense that uh, Shodan's sucking up all the juice in the uh, in the station and maybe kicking the reactor into overdrive. Aha, the armory. Is there a keypad for the armory? No, I just need a security access card. Okay. Fair enough there, I guess. What do we got here? Looks like the security office. The SO. Got a screen here. Right, we've already been in there, so... Well, uh, just move, there we go. What does this do? Ah! That's neat. However, I assume that means there's a camera in there that I should have destroyed and didn't. <laughs> just a hunch. That doesn't do anything. Um, alright. What else have we got? 
another screen here. Okay. Oh, that's a interesting looking critter there. I, uh, I'm not sure what that is exactly. Oh, good. So we've got something highly radioactive in there as well. Or at least that's what the, the symbol on the, uh, on the wall there seems to indicate. This just keeps going around and around, I guess, huh? Okay, keep forgetting. All you gotta do to get out of this screen is move and not hit escape. It's just old habits. Oh, and then we got even more security camera action going on here. Oh, yeah, nice. We got flyers now. And, um, kind of looks like a robot with a gun for a face. <laughs> so, that's cool. I wonder where that is. I think we're probably gonna find it before too long here. Just a hunch. But let's uh, get out of here for now. We can't do anything because we don't have, as far as the armory goes, because we don't have the security card. Um, which means I guess we're done here. Let's make sure I didn't like. I don't think I missed anything obvious in here. I just want to like, yeah, make sure. I think we're, I think we're all set though. Yeah, for some reason, oh, this music, this music track's giving me like Duke Nukem vibes a little bit. Uh, all right, let's go back out around this way. Oh, I see. This looks into here, which we were already in here. So how does that work? So there's like a camera that's obviously like right here, but there's no camera here. Must be uh, some hidden cameras, I guess. Very seems very sneaky. Uh, we may as well actually use this since it took a little bit of damage in there. And uh, get out of here, I suppose. It looks like maybe there's something I missed over here. Yeah, we definitely didn't go this way. Storage room door, but we need the security card. This is the reactor again. Door's locked. We gotta figure out... Oh, I didn't even see that. We gotta figure out how to um, unlock that, I guess. Let's just come back over here and do that. Shield isn't on, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, I, I don't know where that explosion came from. I guess there was a guy on the ground and I just walked, walked right into him. I guess we'll go this way. There's like a whole under level of this area even that we haven't checked out yet. So quite a bit left down here, I expect. Aha, terminal, okay. I wonder if it works. Considering that uh, all these wires are here. I don't know if we take damage from walking into those or not. Didn't seem like it. I think we're pretty safe there. Okay, um, yeah, let's try playing with this. Okay, we've got... What is this? Shield 4. So we've got a data, I don't know, Drill V2, and an exit. We can go this way instead. This is going to give us, what? A new data object of some kind. Oh, I see that. I think that's an arrow. Alright, I guess we... go back over to this way. Ooh, that looks nasty. Okay, I think we got him. Not sure what that was. There we go. We got drill V3 already. That, I don't know why they would give us two and then three all of a sudden. There's some kind of note, too, but I'm not sure what it said. Can I get it? Can I, uh, oh no, I can't get over there. Um, what, uh, what did that say? Blast door unlocked. Okay. So then I guess we go through here, maybe? Can't tell. It looks like that's iced as well. Okay, armory access overridden. Okay, good. This one's gonna be Pulsar V5. Very nice. Alright, I mean, this was... 
pretty lucrative trip into into cyberspace, I would say. Right, let's let's get out of here. I think that's everything. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we did get a data object of some kind, though. Let's take a look at that. Um, maybe it was one of these. Hang on. Ah, hospital level armory code. No, we already knew that. Laser override code 199. I think we knew that as well. It was on one of the screens. But maybe that's what we picked up. Because, yeah, we've read... Pretty sure we've read all of these. Let's see, yeah. Research level. Maybe this one's new, though. No, this is just talking about storage level. Yeah, I think... I think we got the, uh... The laser override code there. Uh, however, we should go back and uh, check on. I think it was right in here. We opened some kind of a blast door, and we also made some stuff happen for the security office, which I think was right here. Yeah, okay. Ah, there's a camera in here. Seems like a, a, a job for the pipe, if ever I've seen one. Security, 80%. What do we got? We've got... Just a pistol, um... We can, what we could do is drop, like... Drop that for a sec. Let's see if there's any bullets in this. No. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Okay, we'll get rid of that. We'll, we'll try to remember to pick up the spark in a sec here. Let's just take these supplies here. Looks like there's another door there, actually, interestingly enough. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got a dark gun and target identifier. Okay. Also, no ammunition in that. A bunch of regular bullets, which is not super great on this floor from what we've seen so far. Ah, but there we go, that's the good stuff. Very nice. Okay. Is that another camera? I think it is. <laughs> yep. Very very sneaky cameras there. Oh, and there's a note on the ground that I missed as well. Okay, let's take our spark back. Let's see, Citadel Station boasts one of the highest security ratings in known space. I would hope so with all these grenades laying around and everything. Against invasion, it is armed with a battery of DEX-36 missiles, eight short-range Argon suspension lasers, and the state-of-the-art Tachyon laser mining beam that can easily be modified for military use. On the inside, over 200 security guards are armed with spark beams, try out mini pistols and flechettes. Guards in especially sensitive areas are issued scorpion guns. The armories are also stocked with Magpulse guns in the event that invaders employ powered battle armor. Lastly, work is being done currently on the plasma rifle, which when fully designed will be the most powerful hand weapon in existence today. Hmm. I wonder if we'll get to see that. I have a feeling that we probably will. Okay, so we're done there. Um, we open a blast door of some kind. But I'm not sure if that's talking about the reactor itself. I guess we could check. That was back through here. That's not what I want to do. I want to strafe. No. So some other blast type door has opened somewhere. I'm not sure where though. For now, I think we'll just move on. That'll do. Okay. Whoop, don't load. Let's uh, save the game here. Yeah, it would be lovely to find... Ah, I was going to say, it would be lovely to find an energy uh, station. And lo and behold, one right there. It says danger, though. Hmm. Nope. It's completely fine. Means we can probably move back to the spark for now. Maybe start using our shields again as well. 
I feel like there's gonna be something around this corner here. Oh, there's a door. I can hear something though. <laughs> I'm not sure what that sound is. I don't know. Let's let's get in here and check this out. Aha! That's what that sound was. Oh, there's more. Employ the shield. There we go. I'm a little surprised I was able to hit him there. Oh man, they're just... Oh, just pouring right out of there, huh? Is that all of them? Unfortunately... Oh, hang on. Maybe I can get up there. I just stand and jump? Alright, well, we might be able to hop up there. This is danger in here a lot, though. I'm not sure why. Gravity, 50% of standard. Can't use conduits. Okay. That's interesting. That's why we can jump so high, I guess. Oh, we did it! I think I did a little climbing there as well. That looks like an enemy. Anybody else? Mm, no, maybe not. I think we're okay. These guys don't have anything, do they? I don't, uh, I don't think they do. I don't really want to go back and check those other ones, though. So what is in here that was worth all that trouble? We've got a med pack. Oh, and a flechette. Okay, we were just reading about one of those. So if we want this, we have to give something up. Do we need a stun gun? I don't think I've used this stun gun even once. Um, dark gun, magma. Like, we definitely want to keep the, the pistol. We don't really have much magnum ammo. Uh, but it's probably, you know, it's kind of like a bigger gun. We probably want to keep the pipe just in case. Um, and we have, like, a lot of dart ammo. I think I'm, I'm going to get rid of the stun gun. Maybe there's a use for that, but I don't know what it is. So, uh... And we'll just use a battery pack here, so we can take that. So this uses hornets. Um, I think I remember reading about this a bit. I think it's sort of like the... Maybe kind of like the explodey purple gun in Halo. A little bit with the homing needles, that kind of thing. Or maybe the... The uh, replay mode from Fifth Element on that super gun that Zod had. Or Zod Zog. I think it's Zog, isn't it? Maybe it's Zod. I can't remember. Something like that. I guess we'll, we'll try it out and we'll see how it goes. I don't think we have very much ammo for it, though, unfortunately. Okay. I wonder if I can just run right across this. Oh, Doom Rules apply. Hey. Okay. And andor Super Mario Brothers rules. So is this a thing? No. Can't use that either. Alright, well. Why did I do that? I don't know. This keeps going down. Well, we can also kind of like climb these too, so... I don't know how much of a big deal that is. This is going to get confusing really fast, though, trying to navigate through all this. So I'm actually going to fall down here, I think. What do we have here? Okay, there's something there. But that is not a climbable wall. At least I don't think. No. All right, and we don't have the, the 50% uh, gravity advantage either. Okay, that's a gravity pad, though. So where does that take us? A 
up to here. So somewhere below me I could have gotten off earlier. Doesn't look like it. All right, well. Ooh, that was tight. Oh, hello. Well. The Hornet is indeed effective. We can say that for sure. I think we better save that ammo, though. Because <laughs> that was Dose Assassins right there. It was nasty stuff. Potentially, anyway. And, uh, yeah, the Hornet made pretty short work of them. Real question is, where the hell am I going? <laughs> I don't know where any of this leads. So this is this is where we were. Yeah, we already looked down there. Or we looked up from down there. So I guess we want to go this way instead. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, well, I guess those guys aren't so tough after all. Looks like we can climb up there if we need to. Of course, I was using Teflon rounds, so I guess that matters. Okay, successfully made that jump. I'll take that ammo, though. And there we go. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking for here. I guess we'll just... Uh, go across. Okay, well, there's a button. That's something. That's for the elevator. So where does the elevator take me? It takes me to here with a dead guard. Okay. He's got some... Ah! Interesting. I think that's a bullet time. And an Earthshaker Explosive. Wow. This guy was loaded. We've got a couple buttons in here. I just want to make sure I can't, like, mess with any of this crap. Just in case. Um, yeah, that ammo, I think that's for this, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got splinter rounds, which I assume one is armor-piercing and one is probably not, is my guess. I'm not sure which is which, though. Uh, but that's good. That's, that's very nice to have. Uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe it is, even though we have a ton of ammo for it, maybe the Dark on it is going to have to go at some point uh, in the not-too-distant future. For now, I'm going to guess this is just the elevator again, yeah. So we'll leave that there, I guess. And this opens this door. Let's just save here. Oh, hello there. No damage. Uh, yeah, that, that hurt quite a bit, I think. Okay, um, right, so dart gun, not what we want here. We want at least the, uh, the pistol. Let's get a little lean in. There we are. Actually didn't do as much damage as it could have, I guess. Forgot that we were kind of at, like, half, half HP here. Maybe we should have just used the med pack, or one of the, one of the uh, first aid kits we have. I don't know, it probably doesn't really matter too much. All right, well, I see two cameras. What happened in here, though? Welcome to my... <laughs> Welcome to my death machine interloper. I can't... I can't argue with the results. All right, I gotta kill this guy again, I think. Uh, there we go. There we are. All right. How are we going to deal with that? Probably best bet. Let's turn this on. Maybe the first thing that we do. Uh, the next thing. We'll use one of these sight packs. See how that goes. And maybe this reflex thing we just picked up. Let's try them out and see how... See what happens, I guess. Welcome to my death. Ooh, wow, we still died. 
Is that the only... That can't be the only guy that was shooting me, though. Surely there had to be another guy. But I think, uh... I think we had the right idea there. Welcome to my dad. Aha. Anybody else? Looks like there probably is. Aha, yep, you. There we go. And there we go. Okay, that could have been worse. I think we got them all, though. I don't know how long this uh, reflexing lasts. It just basically just makes the game go in slow motion. So yeah, this is uh, what what early bullet time looks like. Oh my god, look at all these cameras in here, though, that I'm about to destroy. All right, our sight thing wore off, but the uh, reflex thing hasn't yet. Excuse me? There we go, okay. Welcome to the death machine, Shodan says. Oh, excuse me? There we go. Did hit the uh, enter key there. All right. So we've got camera here. We've got um, camera here. Is that all of them? I don't know. I don't know if it's all of them, but there's definitely a camera down here that we can take care of. There we go. Stand back up. Check out what this guy has. Don't think the hoppers are going to have anything for us, but uh, I guess we'll see, just in case. Yeah. Okay, nothing in there. I don't know how long this reflex thing actually lasts. If I'm being honest with you, it seems like it lasts forever. Which is kind of a little bit annoying. Like, now that we're definitely done with it. <laughs> All right, yeah, can't shoot through that. Um, all right, so what do we got here? We got a human corpse, explosion residue, no items there, just trash. Yeah, I guess this was the uh, the death chamber. That's what happened to these people. Whoops, <laughs> that wasn't me. That was just the mouse being weird there. Um. I thought there was another... Oh, sorry about that, friend. I thought there was another... Cyborg that I killed around here somewhere. There he is, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I don't think we can do anything in there. But we can go this way. I guess it's good that we still have this active. There we go, okay. Take that off. Yeah, this reflex thing lasts forever, it seems like. Oh, nice, we got more ammo. For uh, the big gun here, that's really, really good to see. Let's just put the pistol back on for now, though. All right, do you actually, uh... oh, no, right, I just looted you. Oh, there we go, I think we're back. What is this? Ah, just another multi-view unit. That's uh, not something we need. Safety override access. Okay, repulsor control activated. For whatever that's worth. Guess we can probably shut it off up here. I gotcha. Then come down like so. There's a duct here. And a cyborg assassin there, where I can't shoot. Shielded door is open. Ah, here we go. Can't use inactive emergency signal. I 
you say so. I'm not sure what I'm looking for in here then. Maybe uh, we'll have to come down here and use that later after we reactivate the emergency signal. We're going to die. <laughs> so that's what that guy is. Okay. Um, That's not a problem. We can reload this and I think do a little bit better, a little bit of a better job there. Turn our shields on for one. Use a med pack for two. Oh, uh, well, yeah, let's turn that off. Okay. Maybe we'll use one more med pack here. Just want to give it a sec. I guess it must be done. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's not... I don't know why we're not getting any HP out of that. It's a little bit strange. Yeah, it tells us, like, what we had active, actually. Oh, okay, so that's maybe what level 2 does. We still have sight active? Really? Doesn't seem that way. Uh, whatever. Let's just... See what we can do here. That'll do. Use basically all of our ammunition, but... I think that was probably worth it. Safety area. Oh, he's got more ammo for us anyway. For, um... Maybe the Magnum? No. Yeah, I'm not sure what that ammunition goes, goes to. Because this uses... Splinters, which is not the same thing. So I'm not sure what... Yeah, I'm not sure what those are for. So there's definitely a way to go up there. There's a way to go down here. Might be a little tricky to get down there. Um, I just want to see what's over here real fast. Ah, yeah, this is... First off, not the weapon I wanted to use, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, where we saw the flying guys. I believe there were at least two, though. Oh, these guys have ammo as well. We'll, we'll come back to that. All right, let's just... So this must... Turn the, whoop, turn the repulsor on and off. I don't know why, yeah, why my mouse keeps doing that. It's very strange. Um, Okay. So obviously that guy was guarding something. That's going to be repulsor controls. What's this? Ooh, turbo motion boost. I think we have that, right? Yeah, it's our our skates that I rare, <laughs> rarely use because I kind of forget that we even have them. Security access not granted. Okay, so this is, I guess, where we're gonna go to override the lasers once we've turned the shields on. Laser safety interlock disabled. And did I want to do that? Right now? Uh maybe. <laughs> uh Yeah, I'm gonna say no, even if that means whoop, that's the wrong save. I I hope I saved. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that be for now. Um, and we'll just remember that we got to come back here for the, for the override. I don't think it'll take that long for us to do that, uh, when the time comes, but I don't know if doing it early is a good idea or not, just based on the fact that they let me blow up <laughs> the, uh, the earth previously. All right. What do we got in here? Can I, uh, yeah. Radiation area. Okay. Fair enough. Probably gonna die down here, but I'm gonna. Oh, yep. Just take a look around. That was the other flying guy that I was talking about, I think. Um, right, so. Let's 
Let's come back into here. We do have some detoxes we can use. I wonder, can I use a, a med pack now? Or maybe I should just use... I've got a few first aid kits. I'll just use one of those for now. Let's see if we can figure out where that other guy is. Ah, there he is. Oh, nope, oh, there's more than that even. There we go. Alright, I'll take that. And I'll take that. Is there anything else down here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh! There's definitely some stuff up there. Okay, fair enough. So maybe the answer is... And uh, call me crazy. Maybe the answer is you don't go through that way. <laughs> it may be a bad idea. So, I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll, uh, I'll think about which way we want to go here. Maybe we can sneak around this way. Uh, and when we come back, we'll, we'll either try this a, a couple more times, or we'll, uh, yeah, we'll find an alternate route to maybe get up above there. Because um, it seems like, yeah, we kind of don't have any reason to be in here other than just getting to the other side of this room.